What if you could build a project like Netflix, but on WordPress? Does it make sense? Well, obviously, because we are not developers, you wouldn't have the same freedom as if you would be a developer. But if you don't want to have the span of a company like Netflix, if you don't want to be that big, if you just want to build a project, a basic SVOD project, I think it totally makes sense. And let me show you what triggered me. Before I share everything, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. It's really important. You will have plenty more tutorials about WordPress to come. This is an update from the plugin Presto Player, which is a free plugin, but we are using the pro version right now. So it's a plugin to get a player, a full featured player within WordPress, and you can do so many things with it. And this is not completely new. Uh, I think it was a few weeks or months ago, but you can have Two things here and after Presto Player I'm gonna show you all the different plugins I would use to build Netflix on WordPress. So this is a playlist. Uh, you have a playlist so this is all made of blocks but you can do all the same with Elementor of whatever page builder you want to use and you have a playlist feature so you can click everywhere and uh, this is all customizable you can change the colors the appearance of a few things here and there but you have this playlist okay so because it is a playlist uh, this is better suit for a show uh, so I want to show you that for a show but keep in mind that you can do the same with movies you can be as much creative as you want and work on a Netflix project with a playlist for a show or just a player straight itself just for a movie you know so this is a playlist and the result is here so uh, you can do better than this. You can get closer of a Netflix uh, website because you can do a full width project. So if I go into the settings of my theme, I can disable everything. I can also disable the header and the footer and I can take this block, the Presto playlist and take it full width. All right, so now I update, I refresh the page and we have a playlist from Presto Player in full width without header, without footer. So from here, if someone wants to watch his show, he just enter full screen and he's good to go. Obviously, uh, this is a layout uh, from Presto Player, but you have many layouts. You can have different style, different appearance, different settings from the player. You have total freedom and customization possible from Presto Player Pro. Then I can play uh, this video up. And if I go to the end, something's gonna happen in a few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And then up, you have just watch here. You have a countdown uh, of about five seconds, and boom, it goes to the second episode of the show. So you have really everything here. You have at least the basics if you want to build a project like. Netflix. So if you have a playlist, you obviously have a player for movies, you know, if you have also playlists for shows and if you have this kind of countdown at the end of a video of an episode or a movie to go to the next episode or the next movie, what else you could do? Well, let's unwrap all the tools I would use for an SVD project. First, you need to host the video somewhere. So I would use bunny.net because it's right now one of the most cost effective solution you could use to build a project like this. It would just cost pennies to be able to run the videos, the movies for people. So bunny.net would be the best solution, a lot better than YouTube or Vimeo, obviously here. I'm using YouTube, it's just for the sake of the demo for the tutorial, but do not use YouTube, obviously, uh, for a, a project like this. So bunny.net would be an, a good solution for hosting videos. Then we just talked about Presto Player and you have many many features you also have chapters but i don't think chapters are uh, needed for a project like this but you have autoplay maybe it could be useful but uh, it's mainly about the playlist and the, um, the countdown at the end of the video that would be very interesting and as also the layouts you can have total control of the layouts and what the different settings you want to have within the player then I would use advanced custom fields to uh, sort out everything uh, inside your website so you have movies you can create a custom post type for movies uh, you can create a custom post type for a show and you can use taxonomies for the different genre or categories, you know, uh, horror movie, fantastic movies and, su and such. Uh, so you can use taxonomies for that. Uh, you can use also custom fields. So I think advanced custom fields would be almost mandatory for such a project. 
Then you need an e-commerce solution to sell the subscriptions to your website for the movies, for the shows. So you would use Shortcut for that uh, because it's a lot easier to use than WooCommerce for a project like this. And because you also have some features in Shortcut Pro that is really tailored for, uh, for a Netflix website. So you have the subscription saver feature and this is exactly what you think this is. If someone wants to cancel their subscription from their account, they can go by themselves to their account and cancel the subscription, but you can offer them some discount or a free month or something similar. So this would be the subscription saver feature from Shortcut. You also have the upgrades and downgrades features. So uh, you can have different tiers, different subscriptions into your website and then you can the person can upgrade or downgrade into their account. To better manage all the project, I would use membership, a membership plugin and you have like, let's say two different tiers and two different memberships. Uh, Show sure members would be my default plugin that I would use because I also use shortcut and I just want all the plugin from the same company and Show sure members is a really good plugin so you can just show or not show different blocks, different part of the website or you can decide that some movies are part of some tiers of payment and some other movies or show are not part of a membership. You can just sort out everything from a membership plugin. So I would use the synergy of Shortcut as your default e-commerce solution and show members for a membership plugin. From there, you have several plugins you could use for, for instance, uh, to avoid to have uh, several people at the same time logging to the same account into WordPress. So if you don't want people to be able to share their account to uh, like 10 or 15 or 20 people, uh, you can just manage that from a plugin like LogedIn, for instance. You can limit the number of active logins to a WordPress account from a, for a user. So this would be a nice plugin to use. And maybe you need to block, uh, to geo-block people uh, for legal reasons. So if you don't want people to force up from some countries to access uh, f some of your movies or just the whole platform, you can use plugins like IP Location Block. Uh, this is one instance, but you have another one here, GeoBlocker for WordPress. So you can just block entire countries or regions of the world. So if you package everything I just showed you into one project, one WordPress website, and you know how to use custom post type, taxonomies, custom fields, and you know how to use shortcut and short members together, you learn to use Presto Player Pro for the playlist features and the countdown at the end of the video. If you merge everything into one project, I think you can do a really good job. And I think WordPress makes sense. Again, if you don't want to reach the span of a Netflix company, but if you do want to do that, well, consider your WordPress project like an MVP. I think it's better suited as an MVP, a minimum viable website, an MVW maybe. I think it's good enough for years and years uh, in the making for a project. Uh, it doesn't have to be a huge website, doesn't have to be, you know, you just need to, uh, with the tools I just showed you, you can build a, a million dollar website uh, without any doubt. So now if you're a freelancer, you know that you can say yes to an SVOD project on WordPress because I just showed you all the tools I would use. So let me know into the comment section if you want me to do a long form tutorial to build such a project on YouTube for free. I think it could last like several hours so it would be a pretty long tutorial but why not so let me know if this video is really popular i can produce this tutorial this course for free i would love to so let me know into the comment section do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already and i will see you in the next video